This video is brought to you by Optima Technology. Optima delivers projectors to educators, businesses, and professional installers. Their products include solutions for mobile, fixed installations, and home theater. I like to ease into my reviews, talk about the build quality, what sets speakers apart, how they're made, and then finally move into the listening tests. However, these speakers make me want to jump right into telling you about the listening tests. You know, actually, to be honest, these speakers make me want to build a whole new room in my house just to listen to them. Hey, Andrew Gash here with Audioholics, and obviously, I'm excited about these new speakers from DefTech. Now, they are billed as, and, and really developed to be, studio monitors, hence the name Studio Monitor 65s. Now, that means that at least one of the design goals was to create a speaker with enough dynamic range, fidelity, and finesse to be usable by recording studio professionals as a reference speaker for mixing and mastering music. So that's what they're supposed to be. And they are. They sound incredibly accurate. I cranked them up for some serious listening in the detail. Well, the detail these speakers put out is incredible. Highs that express every minutia of detail and even complex tracks. Mid-range that made vocal tracks sound like they were being performed live right in front of you. Imaging that was wide and boundless. And when we queued up tracks like What Is Hip by Tower of Power, even the full powerful mix of brass, percussion, and thick vocals didn't get jumbled or confused. Rather, everything just fit in its place like a well-miked live recording. Even when we turned it up to excessive volume levels, the mix didn't distort or collapse. It got better and more live sounding. You know, if anything, imaging seemed to get bigger and wider the more we cranked it up. Now we put on an oldie but goodie, The Song Remembers When by Trisha Yearwood, and the reverberant piano and vocals just seemed to float within the soundstage. As the backgrounds filled in during the chorus and Trisha's vocals grew strong, it was amazing how the room literally filled up with the track. Closing my eyes, it was like I was just experiencing my own private event in a, in a, in a concert hall, just listening and I was right there with it. I thought the level of intimacy that these projected was only possible with headphones. You know what? Not true. These can do it. Now, if you look at the speakers, you'll note they're really deep, a little over 15 inches, making them nearly as deep as they are tall. And there's a reason that they're that big too. The whole top of the speaker is a passive bass radiator measuring six by 12. Now I think this design is partially to credit for the clarity of the speaker, even when the content gets thicker and you have tracks with more instrumentation that would normally just come out sounding muddled. The tweeter is a second generation aluminum dome model and the two five and a quarter inch drivers use aluminum cast baskets and a uniquely styled phase plug. The front drivers and tweeter are arranged in a true Diapolito array and flush mounted to the cabinet, but Definitive then placed a curved plastic cover over top to reduce diffraction. And all of this is housed in an enclosure that, when you knock on it, sounds pretty solid. Now we opened up the DefTech Studio Monitor 65s, because that's what we do, and we were impressed by the amount of cross and corner bracing. You know, it's no wonder that the cabinet sounds so inert. There's also a minimal amount of batting and the second order crossover looked to be made from quality components, including uh, metal film caps and oversized inductors. We were checking uh, out the woofers and we also noticed that they use a bucking magnet for focusing magnetic energy into the pole piece. The rear of the speakers feature a pair of high quality bi-ampable and five-way binding posts. These may be the best bookshelf speakers that I've ever heard for under $1,500. And the best part is, a pair of them only costs $900. And these studio monitors have more bass than several towers I've listened to in the last few months. All of this, and without sacrificing delicate highs and balanced, realistic mid-range. If it were the 1600s, Def Tech would be in danger of getting burned at the stake because this is like magic. <laughs> It's a, it's a witch reference, you know, because they were burnt and never moving on. And listen, the question this week has to do with your preference of speaker. Do you prefer full range towers or bookshelf speakers and a subwoofer? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be the first to see all of the videos when they come out. Also, like us on Facebook.com slash Audioholics and follow us on Twitter at Audioholics Live.
And you know, I played a track uh, that I know has at least 25 to 30 hertz sweeteners, and these things pumped it out like they were connected to a sub. I mean, no, I'm serious. It was uncanny. I, I don't. It, I swear, if, if you weren't looking at them, there'd be a sub there. It's I, I don't know how they do it, but it was cool.